celebrating Easter and we're going to be doing Pasanki eggs, the art of Pasanki. I'm here with Paul Karinchuk and I never get tired of looking at Pasanki eggs. They're, they're absolutely marvelous and beautiful and they're very meaningful as well. Absolutely. And you've been doing this for quite some time, right, Paul? Um, I'm going to say maybe 40 years, 40 That's years awesome. plus, yes. So let's get started. What is the first thing we need to do if we're going to attempt to do a pasanki egg? You could either dye them, fill, or drain them hollow. And then what you would do is you would pick a design. You would need the beeswax right here. Uh, it's a low melting point. You would have to either have a candle or something like this. Mm -hmm. And then the Kitska, they come in a variety of sizes, small, medium, and large. Consider this a pencil and the wax lead. So you're uh, putting a piece of wax in the Kitska, putting it to the flame, and going over your design. It looks complicated, but it's very, very simple, actually. So uh, what they mean by a wax resist method, when I go on here with the Kitska, it's going over my design. And then what I'm doing is I'm going into the yellow dye. So you always proceed from the lightest color to the darkest color. So as you can see here, this is the sequence or steps from the start to the finish. So I would start here and then when I remove the wax here, this will be all white. Right. So when I go into the yellow dye, bring it out, I would cover that. All right. And then I would immerse this into blue dye. Once you get to the very end, you would take it to the candle and remove all the dye. And this is your finish start to the finished. So you draw a pattern on it first, is that what you do? Mm -hmm. And then you kind of trace mm -hmm. over the pattern? That's correct, yes, yes. Right. Pasanki in Ukraine means to write. Okay. So they say you're writing on the egg. So uh, you could take this to a flame. So it never really blackens the egg? As long as you don't go on top of it. Okay, Oh, well, look at it, you could start to see it come yeah. to life. And when you get to the very end and see the colors, that's yeah. what it's rewarding. It's so fun. Yes. To see it start to come to life. So Paul, you're going to show us a, a different technique, right? What's this one called? So this is called drop and pull. So what it is here, Jackie, it's uh, melted wax, colored wax actually. And these are the, uh, the instruments we use. As you can see, there's like a steel Mm -hmm. So there's no well to put anything in. You're just dipping it in this time. Yes. So what you do is heat this up in here and you know, try to make a flower. And the so wax you... the wax will stay on there. Oh, actually. wow. That's cool. So you're just dabbing it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm doing. Just dab. So they're, more or less that's what they say. Drop and pull. So you put drop and pull. Paul, let's talk about the symbols and the colors because everything is meaningful in a Pasanki egg, right? Absolutely. The symbols are more significant than the colors themselves. Let's just say, for instance, the deer would be for good health, long life. Mm -hmm. The flower would mean beauty. For the line that starts and no end mm -hmm. would be eternity, as you can see this one. No beginning and no end. I noticed, too, that there's a lot of that a netting, netting. pattern, mm -hmm. that's on like a lot, that seems very traditional, and what is that one? So mean? the netting would be uh, Christ's bounty, that's what that's for, and as the fish as well, too. And there's a variety of symbols. So oh yeah, there's so many, many different yes. symbols. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about um, how they can find out more about this? So uh, if they want to go to St. Michael's in Shenandoah, they could go there usually right around Lent time we give classes and then to Monkey Community Arts Center. So kind of check out before Lent, there's yeah. always go on, some go kind online, of class going on. Go online, phone number for the Arts Center is 570-668-1192 in Shenandoah. 570-462-0809. If you want to join us next year, you're more than welcome. We'll show you how to do the Pasanki. I love it. And then Great. someday, you can, we could all have beautiful collections Absolutely. like this. Absolutely. <laughs> More than welcome to come. So, Thanks yeah. again, Paul, and have a beautiful Easter. Same to you as well. You have a lesson with yourself, and thank you. Thank you.